Hello, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to continue our discussion of writing and balancing chemical equations, which, to be honest with you, is one of the most important things you can do in chemistry. Uh, so in the last section, we learned the general idea of what you're trying to do when you balance a chemical reaction, what the point of it is. We did some examples to kind of show you that. Uh, the truth is, balancing chemical equations is not hard, but it does take practice. Uh, practice for you to get confidence in what you're doing. So what we're going to do now is just in this section do exactly the same thing as we were doing in the last section, so no real tricks. It's just we're going to do a ton of additional examples, additional reactions to let you roll up your sleeves and really be confident that you know what you're doing. So let's just go right into it here. Uh, let's take a, one that's slightly different than what we've dealt with before. Let's say iron uh, plus oxygen gas is going to yield iron oxide, right, Fe2O3. So someone tells you, okay, you take some pure iron, you mix it with oxygen. Of course, oxygen is diatomic. That's why we have the two here. Oxygen always exists as a diatomic molecule in nature. And when you do that, it uh, produces iron oxide. But you notice that this reaction is not balanced because you have two oxygens here, you have three oxygens here, you have one iron here, and you have two irons here. So obviously something is not right. Uh, what we need to do is just take things step by step. So instead of just writing my coefficients right here, I'm going to do it like we did in the last section. I'm going to rewrite the reaction every step so that you can see exactly what we're doing. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's rewrite this. Iron plus oxygen gas yields Fe2O3. All right, so when we look at this, we uh, just kind of go left to right. There's really, there's really no hard and fast rule book for you to, to, to do when you're, uh, to follow whenever you're balancing a reaction. I mean, some books will try to give you some pointers, but truthfully, it's kind of like learning how to speak. You have to just sort of do it, and then you'll sort of see how, how to go. So what we're going to do is immediately notice we have one iron and two irons over here, so we need to fix that. Uh, so we can easily do that by putting a coefficient of two in front of this, because now we have two irons here and we have two irons here. So it seems like we're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and rewrite the reaction again and continue with the next step. Fe, well actually it's 2Fe now, plus O2 yields Fe2O3. All right, now we have two irons, two irons. We have two oxygens, we have three oxygens. All right, now here we, we're sort of uh, presented with a little bit of a conundrum. And, and a lot of times what you'll be taught to do in books or maybe even by your teacher is uh, to continue playing around with these coefficients until you can balance the oxygen. But you notice you have a 2 here and you have a 3 here, so you're not going to be able to do it with one coefficient uh, right off the bat. You're not going to be able to do it in one step. Um, you could put a 3 here, and then you could put a 2 here. And that would make you 3 times 2 gives you 6 oxygens. 2 times 3 gives you 6 oxygens. So you can put a 3 here and a 2 here. That's cool, and that's fine. A lot of teachers will teach you to do it that way. The problem is, as soon as you change this coefficient, you're going to unbalance your iron again. So if you put, for instance, a 3 here and a 2 here to balance the oxygen, you've unbalanced the iron. Then you'll have to come back here and change this coefficient. That's the way a lot of books teach you to do it. I'm actually going to teach you a little bit different way. You can continue playing with these coefficients all day long until you get the lowest you know, uh, ratio of coefficients to balance the thing. But let me show you what I really think is a simpler way. What if... Instead of trying to mess with two coefficients here, we know we have three oxygens. We know we have two here. So let me go off to an aside here. Two times 